In this video, I'm explaining T-Mobile's 18 different tablet and hotspot data plans. First, they offer postpaid tablet plans available for their postpaid subscribers, and they offer data plans that are available as both postpaid options and prepaid options. Let's start off with the postpaid tablet plans. Here, there are five options, and the three main options that most people are gonna be considering are Essentials for Tablets, Magenta for Tablets, and Magenta Plus for Tablets, with 10 gigs of hotspot data. Expanding these, Essentials for Tablets is $15 a month with a voice line on your account, or $55 a month as a standalone option. It includes unlimited data over the LCE or 5G networks, depending on if your tablet is 5G capable. You get unlimited hotspot data at 600 kilobits per second, video streams at 480p, you get 200 megabytes of domestic roaming data, international texting, and you get unlimited data in Canada and Mexico, but at 128 kilobits per second. And as the name implies, the Essentials tablet plan is for Essentials customers. Next, we have Magenta for tablets. This is $20 a month with an active voice line or $60 a month as a standalone option. It includes the exact same features as Essentials, except for two key differences. The Canada and Mexico data is increased to five gigs of high-speed data before your speeds are slowed to 128 kilobits per second. Magenta for tablets also includes unlimited international data at 128 kilobits per second, so you can kind of use this plan if you do travel abroad. Finally, we have Magenta Plus for tablets. This is $30 a month with an active voice line or $70 a month as a standalone option. And I believe this is available for both regular Magenta or Magenta Max customers. You can just purchase the Plus Up add-on for your tablet line and it would be a separate add-on from your active voice lines. This plan is pretty much the same as all the others, except for four key differences. You now get 10 gigs of high-speed hotspot data here before unlimited hotspot data at 600 kilobits per second. You also can now stream video at HD quality or up to 1080p, which is gonna look way better on a larger tablet screen. Finally, the unlimited international data gets bumped up to 256 kilobits per second for both Canada and Mexico, as well as abroad, which is a little bit better than before, but still pretty slow. So these are the three main tablet plans, and I do wanna mention that all of these prices are listed with the $5 auto pay discount already included. If you don't have auto pay, then add $5 to the cost of these plans. The other thing I wanna mention is that even though video streaming is limited to 480p on Essentials for Tablet or Magenta for Tablet, uh, you can actually enable HD video streaming by using a VPN. If you're interested in a VPN, consider my partner ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN will work not only on your tablet, but across all your devices. And as you can see, it completely bypasses any video streaming caps imposed by the carriers, like T-Mobile, so you can enjoy all your favorite shows and movies in full HD or 4K quality. Sign up today at expressvpn.com Stetson, and you'll save 49% off the one-year plan, plus get three months free. Link is in the video description, and I appreciate your support if you choose to sign up. Moving on, there are two other options of the Magenta Plus plan. There's Magenta Plus 20 gigs and Magenta Plus 30 gigs. And really, the only differences here is that the price changes. Magenta Plus 20 gigs is $35 a month with a voice line, $75 a month as a standalone option, and the hotspot data increases from 10 gigs to 20 gigs. Same thing with Magenta Plus 30 gigs. Price increases $10 to $45 a month with a voice line, $85 a month as a standalone option, and you're now getting 30 gigs of high-speed hotspot data that you can share with your other devices. So which of these tablet plans are worth it? Honestly, I think Essentials for Tablets and Magenta for Tablets are the two best options here. They're the most affordable, and instead of upgrading to Magenta Plus for $10 extra per month, you can just grab yourself a VPN to enable HD video streaming on either Essentials or Magenta for Tablets. Next, let's move on to the data plan options. These will work in both tablets and hotspots, and it turns out there's actually two versions of these plans. There are postpaid versions, and there are prepaid versions. The postpaid versions include high-speed data that's included with the plan, and then unlimited data at 128 kilobits per second. Video streaming is limited to 480p. You get 200 megabytes of domestic roaming data. You get unlimited international data in 210 supported countries at 128 kilobits per second, up to five gigs of high-speed data in Canada and Mexico, and then cap speeds at 128 kilobits per second. And finally, if you're using this plan in a tablet, you get unlimited hotspot data at 600 kilobits per second, 
that you can share with your other devices. On the prepaid side of things, there are four key differences. Number one, you don't get the 200 megabytes of domestic roaming data. This means if you're in an area without T-Mobile coverage, your tablet won't be able to switch to a partner network to get coverage in that area, uh, such as let's say switching to the AT&T network. Number two, you don't get any international data here. This plan will only work domestically here in the United States, except for Canada and Mexico, where you do continue to get the five gigs of high-speed data. Number three, you get full-speed hotspot data for tablets. This means when you sign up for a plan, whether it's $10 for two gigs or $40 for 30 gigs or whatever, you can use all of that data as high-speed data in either the tablet directly or shared as hotspot data for your other devices. None of this 600 kilobit per second data speed gap that you get on the postpaid plans, which is honestly kind of a weird difference. And number four is the $50 plan. This only includes 50 gigabytes of data on prepaid as opposed to the 100 gigabytes that you get with the postpaid option. Honestly, I think the postpaid plans are a little better here. I love the included domestic roaming data. I love the included international data. Even if it's slow, at least your devices will work when you're traveling abroad. And I absolutely love that $50 100 gig option. That's one of the best value plans available on the T-Mobile network. And pause, editor Stetson here. It turns out T-Mobile actually increased the cost of their $50 100 gig plan. So this is the Wayback Machine and we're taking a look at a capture from December 2020. This is the same page I was looking at when I made this video. And if we scroll down, we can see 100 gigs of high-speed data for just $50 a month. This is the plan I was talking about. However, if we go to the new site that I just checked today, June 6, and we scroll down, you can see T-Mobile actually changed it, and now it's 100 gigs of high-speed data for $60 per month. I'm a little bummed about this change, especially after putting all this time into the video and now suddenly having to correct it with this extra screen recording. But I still do think this is one of the best value plans on the T-Mobile network. 100 gigs for 60 bucks is a pretty good value. Okay, on with the video. That said, prepaid can be a great option, particularly for tablet users, because you can share your data as full speed hotspot data, as opposed to that silly 600 kilobit per second limit for the postpaid plans. And I just wanna reiterate, these plans are available for both tablets or dedicated hotspot devices like the Nick Gear Nighthawk or others. So those are T-Mobile's tablet and data plans, as well as which plans I recommend. But what if you want something that's even lower cost and offers more flexibility? Well, you may actually consider plans from US Mobile. They offer $15 for five gigs, $20 for 12 gigs, $25 for 18 gigs, $30 for 30 gigs, and the same $50 50 gig option. What's great about US Mobile is they are prepaid and they offer a better value than T-Mobile prepaid, at least in my opinion, and they will work in tablet devices. Unfortunately, US Mobile will not work in hotspot devices, but I do think they are a phenomenal option for people looking for prepaid tablet plans. That's it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful, and Patreon supporters can now vote on what video I make next. Cast your vote by joining the Patreon at the link in the video description or by joining the YouTube channel with the blue join button right over there. Also, get subscribed so you don't miss my next video. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.